I had the audacity to ask my mother why she was keeping trash. Let me explain. So a few weeks ago, my daughters and I went to my mother's home, took the steam cleaner over there and deep cleaned her carpets and her sofas. And while we were there, since we were deep cleaning, we decided to you know, throw some things away. And I so happened to come across this old raggedy pillow that was sitting behind. She probably didn't realize it was back there, it was behind the sofa. And so I pulled it out and I'm like, mama, why are you keeping trash? I'm like, do you need this? And she was like, no, you can go ahead and throw it away. And so I you know, went ahead and throw it away, didn't think nothing else um, about it. But fast forward, not fast forward, let's rewind back a few weeks. A few weeks ago, my husband's in the shower, we never, you know, we're just talking or whatever, you know how husband and wife do, we just talking about stuff, right? He in the shower, I'm brushing my teeth. And he decides to ask me, I have these things down here, right? Some of my favorite items, this is Good Girl Perfume, this is Jimmy Choo, I Want You Forever. And then also a black owned business here that I love, I frequent all the time, Jones and Rose here in Jacksonville, Florida, have all of the butter, butters and oils and sprays and things. And so I have these boxes because they're so cute, right? So this one right here has comes with this like little pink little inside or whatever. And, um, you know, just nice little boxes or whatever. So my husband stops for a moment and he asks me, why are you keeping all those boxes and bags? You act like you never had anything. Ooh. Why are you keeping all those boxes and bags and everything? You act like you never had anything growth moment because that comment years ago would have started an entire argument it would have filtered through my insecurities and out of my mouth would have came some very disrespectful things or I would have felt hurt or internalized it and would have been feeling some kind of way for days not saying anything about it and then finally saying something about it the cycle I heard it but I let it marinate I just I didn't dismiss it I ain't try to defend it I heard it and then when I came back, so fast forward, when I came back from my mother's home and I decided to take a shower that night, it hit me. Revelation, an aha moment, whatever you want to call it. The Holy Spirit. And I began to ask myself, I looked at it because it was down there, it was still on my shelf. And I looked at it and I said, well, why am I? I decided to ask myself, why am I holding on to these things? The truth is, if I decided to bless someone like I have in the past with a gift from Jones and Rose, I'm going to get a new bag. Why am I holding on to these things that are no longer serving me? Why are they? Why am I allowing these things that I'm never going to use again to take up this space in my life? And this is not the only thing, right? These are not the only items that I hold on to. I realized it was just this whole epiphany about how I do things and how I carry myself, even today. Why am I holding on to things that are no longer serving me? So here's another point. My husband and I have his and her sinks, right? We bought this nice house. We finally got the his and her sinks, right? But I always find myself gravitating towards his side of the thing. And he always bring it up. He's like, babe, why are you always on my side of the thing? I'm like, no, I'm not. I ain't always on your side of the thing. Yes, you are. Look at you you're over here now. I was like, I'm just standing right here. I'm not on your side. But the truth is, I'll be on his side of the thing. He was like, babe, you know why you're over here? You know why you're on my side of the thing? Because you got all that stuff on your side of the thing. If you would throw away those bags and move that stuff off your side of the sink and place it on your shelf, you would have the, the organization and the clarity that you need and you won't be on my side of the sink. He would say this throughout, I don't know, I guess we've been here for a little over two years. He would constantly say that. He find me on his side. You know why you're on my side? Because I don't have all that stuff going on. My, my husband's sink, I wish I could show you a picture. He don't have all that stuff on his sink. Me, I got everything. Makeup, hair supplies, all kinds of stuff on my side of the sink. Earrings, I take them off, I just place them, right? Well, that's also too, I need to work on being more organized. But the point is, you got this space down here that's, you know, filled with things that you don't need anymore. Why are you holding on to the things that no longer serve you, Miss Monique? Why are you, why are you holding on to things that are no longer serving you? So as I'm in the shower, Fast forward, right? So all this is kind of coming together. Isn't it awesome 
how life does, how the Holy Spirit like just bring things back to your remembrance and boom, you had this whole lesson and just like, oh my God, I just thank you, right? So I'm in the shower. I tell my husband, I said, man, you know what? I had the audacity to ask my mother why she was holding on the trash. I see, I know that sounds so very simple, but it's so very powerful. And I realized when I was a young girl, growing up homeless, my mother suffers with schizophrenia, and oftentimes we didn't have new things. I was so envious and jealous of everybody who had everything that I ever wanted. For years, we had hand-me-down things and had to get things from the church, food, clothes, shoes, everything that you can possibly need to live a decent life. We had to borrow it or get it from some hand-me-down place and I always wanted to have my own. And so when I finally got into a place where I can buy the things that I desire, do the things that I want to do, I began to hoard it. My husband said, girl, why you... Why are you are you keeping that stuff like you ain't never had nothing? We've been free for a minute now. But here I am still, all these decades later, still holding on to things that no longer serve me. And I had to come to the realization after I asked that question. And sometimes that's all you have to do is ask yourself a question. Well, why do I do that? And lo and behold, you'll realize that you're really coaching yourself. The answers that you need are already on the inside of you. You just have to get quiet. It's always in the shower. I don't know if it's about you, but for me, it's always in the shower where this revelation would just come. And you get the answers that you need, the ideas, the creativity. As long as you position your mind, body, and spirit to receive, your answers that you need will come. And that was my revelation. Why are you holding on to things that are no longer serving you? If you would just get rid of the things, Monique, that are no longer serving you, I can bless you with the more that you desire. How are you going to continue to want more and desire more and, you know, steward well over what you have? But I can't give you nothing else. If you have trash, in a sense, taking up a space where your blessing should be. And so... When I got the revelation, I was just like, I didn't cry or anything. Because sometimes I do have those, you know, those revelations. I'm just like, oh my God, right? So you have those, those moments of just gratitude of like, gosh, I thank you that you love me enough. Don't sit so don't stay stuck. I thank you that you love me enough that I can find revelation and freedom from the things that are holding me back from the blessings that you have awaiting. So I just wanted to come on and share that and see if like, it freed me. Right, I'm going to throw this stuff in the trash and some other things too. I've just been realizing how living a more simple life is, is it brings such clarity. You can think more when, you, when you're in a cleanliness and in organization. And I know that that was a revelation for me as I began to embark upon this new venture, stepping out into, you know, business. I have nine to five. I also have a nonprofit and now I'm getting ready to start um, a coaching business. And I know that that was that revelation for me. Hey, girl, while you in this, um, you know, preparation mode, this is some other things that I need you to work on. Get some of these other things cleaned up so that you won't be overwhelmed, so that you can think, so that you can have clarity, right? And so that you can ease into this next season of your life, you know, with grace and gratitude. And so I just wanted to come on and share that. And hopefully, you know, this would be something that you can use as well and ask yourself questions. And a lot of times you'll see that the questions and the answers that you need to, you know, just set your, bring your life, set your life on a different level and just go to another um, level in your life, you already have the answers on the inside. You just got to get still, get quiet and desire and want to know. And those answers will come. I am your self-discovery bestie, Coach Mo. And... I'm here for one thing and one thing only, and that is to inspire your hope into action. If you felt like this video was amazing and if it helped you, share it with somebody. Guess what? It don't cost you nothing. It don't cost you not one cent to share knowledge. That is how we sharing information that touched you, that benefited your life, right? The way you pay it forward is simply sharing it, either by word of mouth, either by sharing your own personal experiences, or sharing videos like this. And so I hope to see you next week. 
subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share. Let me know if you was able to relate to some of the things that I was talking about today. And um, we'll connect. And we'll look forward to seeing you next week. Have a good one.